Hello children. A very cheerful morning to all of you. Okay, now we are going to start today's English lesson. Can you see something written over the page here? Hmm? It looks so familiar, isn't it? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W I W X Y N C. So these are the alphabets. You remember we had revised when we started uh, with the topic sentences, right? So once again, I want to revise the alphabets with you. Ah, uh, how many total alphabets are there? There are twenty six total alphabets from A till Z. But do you know there are five special letters? There are five special letters. Do you know who? Which letters are they? You know you have all you know about this, uh, and you learned about it in the in your KG classes. Just remind it. Try to remind yourself. The five special letters are A, E, I, O, and U. Do you remember the song you used to sing? A E I O U, A E I O U. So these are the special letters, and we call them vowels. A, E, I, O, U. These are five special letters, and we call them vowels. What do we call them? Speak with me. Vowels, and rest of all the letters are called consonants. All the other letters like B C D F G H J K L M N P Q R S T V W X Y and Z. These all are called consonants, and these are the vowels. So, how many vowels do we have? Five. And how many consonants do we have? Twenty one. Right. So, this is all about the vowels. Now, are you clear about the vowels and consonants? A E I O U. Come on, sing the song with me. A E I O U. So these are the vowels, and rest all the letters are consonants. Clear? Okay. Now I want to ask you one thing. If I write a word like C U P, cup. What do you know about this word? What it indicates you? Cup. Or if I say Samir, Samir is a name. Cup is a thing. So what do you think these words are? Yes, you are right. These words are nouns. They are called nouns. The name of a place, animal, a thing, or a person are called nouns. Okay, now listen carefully. If I say um, fan. or if i say girls do you feel any difference in these two words do you feel any difference yes there is a difference both of them are nouns right this is the common thing in between them fan is a thing so noun girls person so nouns but what is the difference the difference is that fan is singular noun fan is one So it is a singular, singular noun, and girls. There is s behind the girl, which shows that it is plural. It's a plural noun. Okay, singular noun, plural noun. Got it? So now you know about vowels, consonants, singular noun. Now we will connect all these things to learn a new topic. which is called articles which is called articles a r t i c l e s you need to 
know how to spell it and how to read it. A R T I C L E S articles, right? So today we are going to learn about articles. Now, let me explain you that you know about the vowels. There are five vowels: A E I O U. With all the singular nouns like fan, cup, girl, with all the singular nouns. Which start with the vowel, any vowel sound like a, a, e, o, a. These are the sounds of a, e, i, o, u. A, a, e, o, a. If any word, if any singular noun starts with any vowel, then we put an before that word. For example, if I say ant. A N T ant. This is singular noun. First of all, you have to see is it singular or plural. It is singular noun, so it starts with A, and it gives the sound A. So we will put an here. If I write the word rat, this is also a singular noun, but. It starts with R. It doesn't start with A, E, I, O, or U. It give, doesn't give any of these sounds, right? So, what do we have to write here? Nothing. It starts with a consonant. Now, whichever word starts with a consonant, what do we give to that word? We give A. So we write A in front of that. A rat, an ant. Okay, let me show you a picture. Uh, this is in your uh, grammar book, chapter number seven, articles. This is a zoo, a picture from a zoo. Look at the animals here. You can see a number of animals here, right? Like a crow, owl, elephant, zebra, giraffe, pig. Cock, rabbit, turtle, duckling, grasshopper, butterfly, ant. Right, so many animals here. Now let's see. <clears throat> and all the animals are singular noun now. Right, all the animals are singular because there is one. They are one in number. All the nouns are singular, so we can write a or an in front of their names. Now we have to see with which animal we will write a and with which animal we will write or say an. Now zebra starts with z. 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 Is z a vowel? You quickly sing that song a e i o u. Do you find z in that? No, there is no z or z there. So what do we write here? A or an? Zebra. It starts with z. Z is a consonant, so simply we have to write a. Okay, a zebra. Now, see this animal. Which animal is this? Elephant. Elephant. This is how we write elephant. Now it starts with letter e. Now sing the song. Do you um, do you have this? Letter in your song A E I O U E. Yes, it is there. E elephant. So what are we going to write here? A or an? This is a vowel. So with every vowel we will write an. Okay. Now you can see here a duck. D U C K duck. Duck starts with D. It starts with D. It is singular also, and it's starting with D. So D is a vowel or consonant. Sing the song. Do you find D in that song? A E I O U. No. So it's D. So here we are going to write a, a duck, an elephant. Okay. Let's quickly see the picture again. Owl. How do we spell owl? O W L. Owl. It starts with O. So here we are going to write an. O is a vowel. Crow. Crow starts with C. C is a consonant, so we will write a. Giraffe starts with G. G is a consonant, we will write a. Got it? Okay, now let's move on to the next page in your book. You can see here they have also told you these are the consonants, and a, e, i, o, u are called vowels. 
Let's read out these words. Ostrich, snail, ape, zebra, uncle, park. Now we have to see with which word we will write A or an. For example, this is snail. It starts with S. Snail. Uh, first of all, you have to circle the words which starts with a vowel. S. It starts with vowel. We will not circle it. A. It starts with a vowel. So, let's circle it. Zebra. Z is consonant. U. U is vowel. So, let's circle it. P. P is a vowel? No. So, we will not circle it. Now, the words which we have circled, we will write an with them. And with other words, we will only write a. Like an ostrich, a snail, an ape, a zebra, an uncle, a path. You can write all these words over here. Okay. Now, next B part, write a or an for the pictures. This is igloo. Igloo starts with i. i is a vowel. So, an. Egg. Egg starts with e. It is already giving the sound of e. And e is a vowel. So, what are we going to write here? An. An egg. Hand. Hand stands, uh, starts with h. h is a consonant. So, here we are going to write a. A hand. Deer. A deer. Frog. Starts with f. f is a consonant. Apple. Apple starts with A. Now A is a consonant. Am I right? A is a consonant? No. It's a vowel. So here we are going to write an. Okay. Alright. Have you got it? It is so simple. If the word, if the noun is singular and it starts with vowel, we write an. If it starts with a consonant, we write A simple. Now, let's read the sentences. Number one, Leela bakes dash cake. S starts with C is a consonant. So, A. Mr. Shah drives dash ambulance. It starts with A. So, what are we going to write here? A is a vowel. So, here we'll write an. Have you seen dash dinosaur? You simply have to look at the first letter and the sound of that word. Dinosaur. D. So, consonant. So, we'll write A. Dash octopus has eight arms. O. O is a vowel. A, E, I, O, U. Yes, it is a vowel. So, here we are going to write an. Now, why have I put A capital here? Because this is the first word. This is the first letter of the sentence. That's why A will come in capitals here. May I have an banana? An banana or a banana? B is consonant. So, a banana. Hari's, Hari's mother is dash actress. A is again a vowel. So, it's going to be an actress. Right? Now, here are, uh, again, we have to write A and N. An owl and dash cat are in the boat. Cat starts with C. It's a consonant. So, A. There is dash hut. Now, hut starts with H. A. There is a hut near the beach. The little star shines like diamond Again, consonants like a diamond, a dash grasshopper, a grasshopper because G is a consonant. Now, here ant, it starts with A, A is a vowel, so here we will write ant. A grasshopper and an ant were friends. Aladdin was dash little boy, L little boy. So, a uh, Aladdin was a little boy. Now, here little is not the noun. This a uh, represents this boy. Okay, so b is a uh, little has come here. So, a uh, will come here. Aladdin was a little boy. He had a magic lamp. A uh, is already little. So, nothing will come here. Okay, so we will complete till here only. I hope this uh, is very clear to you now where we have to write A and an. 
so that's all for today kids now you have to do these two pages by yourself you have understood how to do them you can do it on your own now okay that's all for today take care of yourself bye bye